Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I have something very, very special to show you. Actually, I should say very special to show you. It is wave one of the Strawberry Shortcake action figures by Boss Fight Studio. I have to give a really big thank you to Boss Fight Studio for sending me these to review. It was a huge surprise and we'll get into why I have any connection to Strawberry Shortcake in a minute. But I am extremely, extremely impressed with these. These are amazing and just in case you were wondering, yes, they are all scented and I, I can't even believe they did that. But they wouldn't be strawberry shortcake if they weren't scented. If you're an 80s kid like me, you probably grew up with all these kinds of things. We had strawberry shortcake, rainbow bright, and there was He-Man, Thundercats, and everything is making a comeback. All of these things from the 80s have new merchandise. I mean, it seems like that's that's the main focus of merchandise. Like I mean, even though Star Wars has newer stuff out there, you know, it was based in the 70s and 80s. I used to, really like the Strawberry Shortcake villains. Those were my favorite characters. And I really wanted the Sour Grapes doll that came out, but I was forbidden. I couldn't have that, like that was that was too much. So I was never able to have it. Um, and, and I don't think anybody I knew even had it. I think maybe she was a little hard to find. But recently I found through uh, Pop King, these two animation cells for sale uh, on eBay and I just bought them right away. They are from the original cartoons and they were inexpensive and I said, I, I just wanna get them. They just look so awesome and they look great together. So we have the Peculiar Purple Pie Man of Porcupine Peak and Sour Grapes. And they were just, I mean, all the villains, right? The villains are always a little bit more fun. You know, they get away with a lot and stuff like that. So it was great that they did make them back in the day. And what really led me to want to review these figures is that they put out a little teaser in one of their recent live streams that they will be making figures of the villains. And I cannot wait. I said, please put me on the list. I just, I just want those two, please, please. And then I showed them my cells and everything. And they were really great at Boss Fight Studio. Watch their live streams. They talk and go into detail about how they've made these things, who's behind all the designs and stuff. It was really informative. And it was just, it's really cool to see the artists who make these things come to life, right? We don't ever get to see them that often. So I was really pleased to just see that not only did they have a good time making them, they were very, very specific, but that there is going to be a wave two and the villains probably wave three. So even though I did not have the Sour Grapes doll, I was allowed to have the small PVC figure of Sour Grapes. It was the only thing that I had. And I feel like she still smells a little bit. It's not as strong, but I remember, like I can remember the smell. Every now and again, I'll smell it somewhere. I don't know if it's a, a perfume or, or incense or something, but every now and again, I catch the smell. I'm like, oh, that's Sour Grapes. I know, I remember. but. She has just a little bit, just a little bit left. So I really hope when they do make her into an action figure that it's it's close to this because I love that smell. That was my favorite. And I love purple. So, you know, she had the purple hair and the purple dress and everything. And it, you know what? It's hard to believe that she was before Jessica Rabbit. Like, it's like, I can't remember almost the time before Jessica Rabbit and liking other cartoon characters, but she was she was well before Jessica Rabbit. So kind of a vampy sort of character, you know, the, the purple eyeshadow and green eyes and all that kind of thing. So a little bit of similarities, I guess you could say, but this was the only thing I was allowed to have from Strawberry Shortcake, but now I'll have another one, haha, <laughs> finally. <laughs> now I'll have something of my own. So I'm really looking forward to that and really check out Boss Fight Studio watch their live streams. They're just, they're really, really great group. They know what they're doing and they're making a lot of great things. Another thing that I love that they have are Popeye figures and they just look really cool. Olive Oil is another character that I loved. Also funny to think that I loved Olive Oil. I mean, she's so different from Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> she's completely the opposite of Jessica Rabbit, but I loved Olive Oil. I mean, it, these were the early cartoons before Jessica, you know, there was Daphne from Scooby-Doo and, and characters like that uh, well before. We are going to open and unbox all four of these and take a look at what we get. Here we have 
uh, strawberry shortcake herself, and she comes with her pet custard, and just right away, I mean, it, it just looks so, so impressive. And of course, the big difference being these aren't dolls, these are action figures. So it, it does change it up a bit, but it really captures the essence of those 80s toys so very, very well. And just the design work, it, it's, it's clean, it's crisp. I, I don't really see any paint slop or anything like that. It comes with tons of accessories. These are just so exciting to see. And if you do see these in the store, if you just want to leave them packaged, there is a little spot here and you can smell. Oh my gosh, that really, it really has that retro feel of the scented figures. I don't think we've had those in a long time. They were very popular in the 80s. So it's really cool to see that they added that feature. I don't know that they could have done without it because that was such an important feature to the dolls back in the day. And just looking at this, this is just a really impressive figure. It's, it's so clean and it's just really, really well made. I, I'm just so impressed. So here is a look at the box. It really brings back that nostalgic feel of the 80s dolls. Now I know each of them was in a different color box, but for these, the background insert is a coordinating color to each of the characters. Again, I'm very surprised with just how many accessories Strawberry Shortcake comes with. She has 15 separate individual pieces. They're all set down in this tray, so they shouldn't move around or fall out or anything like that. Now she actually comes with a red base. She has this spoon with two leaves at the end of it. Even though she doesn't have rooted hair, it does come with a comb that matches. She has a plate with a strawberry shortcake dessert. She has a white watering can that does have a design on the front of it. And she also comes with a basket of strawberries as well as a leaf plate, I guess you could say, with ice cream right in the middle. And of course she comes with her pet, which is Custard the Cat, who is pink with lots of white polka dots all around. Now the more interesting feature of this, I thought, were these swappable face plates. Each of them has a different expression so that you can use different expressions with different poses. Now I was really curious to see how this would work out so I took her right out of the box. It wasn't an issue. There's just some tape and some plastic tabs that you'll have to remove. Now her hat is actually a separate piece so I guess you could really count that as an extra accessory but that is removable as well as her hair. You have to kind of slide her hair off to be able to swap the face plates and I was a little nervous as I was doing it that I would mess it up but honestly I didn't. The face plate came off you just have to kind of pinch and move it off and then you just swap it out for whatever expression that you wish to have it was fairly easy and then everything just goes right back on you just put the hair right back on it kind of snaps into place a little bit and then of course you just have the hat and she's ready to go so here is a closer look at the figure first we'll start with custard strawberries pet cat it is not articulated in any way but you can see there's some details on it like this stitching sort of work that is what the original character looked like from the 80s sort of to look like a plush toy i suppose one of the other accessories that she comes with is this watering can and you can see there is a strawberry right in the middle with some painted leaves and details on it it's really cute it fits in her hand very very easily now one of the accessories all the figures have in common is this stand. Each has a different color. Now her hat is a little heavy. Uh, I, it does fall down a little bit. I put some tissue in there and that actually works fine. It holds it up perfectly and it isn't really an issue. But you do kind of need this stand to hold her up well enough. Without the hat, she's fine. You can use without the stand. You can use it with the stand. She stands up just fine. Checking on the articulation, everything is on a swivel joint. The elbows, the wrists the hips, the knees, the ankles, the shoulders, and there's even a torso. So it really makes it for various poses and it is fairly easy to move everything. Some of the joints were a little tight. Once they got going though, there wasn't really an issue. And what really helps it is that you have the stand so that you have the peg holes here and you can still get any kind of pose that you're wanting to without worrying about her falling over. But again, without the hat, she stands up just fine. And even with the hat, I was able to get her to stand. 
Again, the hair comes off so the face plates can be swapped out. So what you would do is you just kind of start from the front, it moves forward, and you can then pop it off from the back. It was easier each time I was doing it. I didn't have a problem with it. There's also a seam here that you'll see where the face plate is connected. So you just kind of start and pinch there a little bit, and maybe just put your nail under there like I was doing. It does come off pretty easily. It's on snug, so it's not going to have any chance of just falling off or falling over or slipping off. It really works very, very well. It's on very secure. Once you get it off, you just line up these pegs that are on the inside with the face plate, and it goes on really simply. Again, the more I was doing it, the easier it was. The second character in the wave is Huckleberry Pie with his pet pup cake. He comes with different accessories as well as the swappable face profile. So it really smells like the retro figures. I mean, I, it's been a long time since I've smelled what they smell like, but even I can remember them and they smell just like them. They smell really, really good. I don't know how they did it, but I know they were very meticulous in picking what the scents were. So they should be so close to what the original figures were from the 80s. So here is a closer look at Huckleberry Pie. We'll start with his dog, Pupcake. He has a bit of an upgrade since his 80s figure. He looks less generic, has a lot more personality. He is not articulated just like the other figures. Their pets are really unique. Honestly, I think they could sell these separately. I think people would really like them. He has his own two face plates they are actually different expressions to what Strawberry Shortcake has, so it will give you a little bit of a different look. He has a basket of huckleberries and has a slice of huckleberry pie. Yes, it is an actual thing. It's sort of like a blueberry, but just a little bit different. It looks kind of the same to me, but they are an actual thing. So he has a leaf plate of a huckleberry ice cream, which is purple. He also comes with this little leaf spoon that they all come with. He has the comb, and on the handle you can see there are the berries there, which is different for each of the characters. He also has the same swappable hands as the rest of them. There's the gripping hands and the more doll-like hands. And his own personal accessories are a purple fish and a fishing hook, just a rope on a stick, basically. He does have his own purple stand as well, that does count as an accessory, and his articulation was the same. Everything was a swivel, swivel in the elbows, the hips, the knees were a little tight, but eventually I did start to get them moving just fine. He has the ankle joints, there's articulation in the torso, the shoulders, of course the head, and with all of this articulation you really can get a lot of various poses, especially with the different hands and all of the face plates that come with it as well. So there's a lot you can do with it. His hat, of course, is removable, just like the rest of them. It came off really, really easily. And again, with the hair, you just sort of have to rock it back and forth and push it out from the back. It comes off pretty easily. Then the face plate as well, it's the same thing. You just kind of pinch and push, get your nail under there, and the face plate comes off. So then I switched it out with the more grinning face and it just looked perfect. It was such a better expression for him. And again, the hair goes on really easily. The hat went on really easily. 
it was great. Like it was, it's just a perfect expression for this character. And you're just going to get a lot of varying degrees of personality out of them. It's really going to be cool to see them all together and the various different expressions that they'll have. The next character in the wave is Lime Chiffon with her pet Parfait. And it's a, they're, they're each very different. This one is definitely has a, the lime scent to it. And you know, the colors are so bright and vibrant. They all look so different, but you know, they all work well together. They all have the same feel just a different personality, different character to them. Here is the close-up of Lime Chiffon. We'll start with her pet, Parfait, who comes on this little stand. Now, I do remember this character. The eyes were like flowers. They were a little hypnotic. It was a little freaky to me back when I was a kid. But here, it looks really cool. I think they're all supposed to resemble dolls a little bit. The stand is just a clear plastic stand, and the feet of the parrot actually just go on the base up at the top, and it fits on perfectly. There wasn't any kind of a problem. She also comes with the swappable face plates. One was similar to strawberry shortcakes and the other one was a little bit different of an open mouth smile. Now, of course, she has her basket of green limes. You can see here, very vibrant and colorful. She also has the green leaf spoon as well as her own comb, which is green with the lime at the handle. And she also has a lime plate of ice cream. Her unique accessory is this group of colorful balloons. Of course, she also features these swap out hands as well as the green display base. Now, her hat and her hair are removable as well. These hats seem to fit on a little bit better than strawberry shortcakes. There's a little bit of grooves in the hair and it works so well with the hat. Of course, she's got the standard articulation as the rest of the figures. Of course, it's all the swivel joints everywhere. And she stood up fine, honestly, on her own with or without the base. And the fourth character in the wave is Orange Blossom with her pet Marmalade. And she also has the scented feature. That is definitely a citrus scent. You can tell like the, the, the berry scent and the citrus scents are, are very, very different from each other and very, very unique. And here is the close-up of Orange Blossom. We'll start with her pet butterfly, Marmalade. You can see there's a sort of stuffed animal look that all of these pets have. There's these flowers that you can see printed all over the wings on the front, also on the back. It's all one piece, it appears to be. There is, again, no articulation here. And her unique accessories are that she comes with painting supplies. So she has this easel with all of the paint on it in various different colors you can see. She also has the ice cream. This is an orange ice cream on the leaf plate. She also has the green leaf spoon as the others do. She has her own yellow comb with a lemon sculpted onto the handle. And just like the other characters, she does have a basket except hers is filled with yellow lemons. She also comes with her own portraits that you can swap out. One of them is a grin and the other is for painting. She's got her eyes squinting with her tongue out. So she has her own unique look so that she can pose with this easel with her orange that she has painted on it. And of course, she also comes with this little paintbrush, which has the orange paint at the end. And like the other, she also does come with a display stand which of course is orange now her hat of course is removable it worked really well it's got these little grooves in it and the hair works the same way if you start from the front and then work your way to the back it comes off you do a little pinch to each of the seams of the side of the head and the face plate just comes right off very simply and it fits back on it's very snug and it's very secure i was really glad with how this actually worked out then the hair just goes back on. You can leave the hat off. You can put the hat on. It's great just how many different things you can do with these figures.
So here is wave one of the Strawberry Shortcake action figures by Boss Fight Studio. Final thoughts on these, they really are so cool. I mean, each of them is so unique. They're so colorful. Each of the scents is very different. They're not overpowering. I was a little worried about that, but they actually smell really, really good. And it captures the nostalgia of the 80s dolls, but in a very new and different way. So some of the heads were a little bit heavy, Strawberry Shortcake being the heaviest, but with some work and some tweaking, she's able to be posed just fine. And again, I have to thank Boss Fight Studio for sending me these. I'm so honored. I'm so happy. It was just really exciting to see these, and I can't wait to see what else they have coming in the future.